This is definitely not deep. This is basically uh, kind of me playing around. I, I wanted to be able to put my uh, RP2040 board sitting on my workbench and be able to program against it. And one way to do that is to use WebREPL. I really didn't want to deal with that. And so the simplest thing for me, actually, in this case, was to put a command that replicated the REPL across a Bluetooth serial collect uh, on UART0. And that let me just pop up, connect the Visual Studio and our shell on my machine to that device remotely without having to plug in with it and without having to mess with networking in any way other than Bluetooth, which is essentially point to point and easier than getting some devices on a hub. I'm actually gonna, right now I did it with an RP2040. I'm probably gonna do this with one of my uh, W or ESP32 C3s because I have some network issues with those. And sometimes it'd be great to get in on the Bluetooth to see what's happening. So in this case, uh, sample topology, uh, typically, um, and the only reason I have this sample topology is for demos. Typically, what's going to happen is the RP2040 or any of your boards are just going to run some tasks and we'll put a Bluetooth adapter on them. They're like six bucks, which is more than the RP2040, which is crazy. Um, and, you know, when they get that Bluetooth working on that thing, it's going to be awesome. But so in this case, this will actually work with anything. It doesn't need Wi-Fi. I did a lot of these with um, Arduinos. Uh, but in this case... Uh, the 2040 is going to have a Bluetooth adapter on it. The default rate for those is 9,600. I'll discuss a bunch why that's a problem later. Uh, I actually changed mine to 11,500 because that's the max speed. And why not, right? Run it, you know, what is it? Ludicrous speed. We're going to run at ludicrous speed. So, uh, and then what I have is another PC that's Bluetooth paired with that adapter. And so normally I would just write shell scripts against that or the RP2040 could be doing data, data gathering and I could connect to it with my phone and have an app on it uh, and use the RP2040 as a remote per, uh, peripheral for data gathering. In this case, I just have a PC and what happens is when you pair one of these Bluetooth adapters, it looks like a serial port. It's pretty much the only thing they emulate and it's the RF com protocol, basically, RF communication protocol. It makes them look like a serial extender. It's basically a way to do wireless serial. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, so this thing, I'm going to pull up Putty on here and talk to the virtual serial port. So really, it's always about virtual serial ports. When talking with these, the USB, we have a virtual serial port. We'll run our shell against it. And I'll show you that in a minute where I'm running the REPL. And then because this is just a regular serial port, appears that way, I can just putty into it. Okay, so this is my HC06. It turns out I made a bunch of mistakes. I thought this was an HC05, and that's why I couldn't change the speed. I know, wrote another article on failure because failure is interesting too, and the failure was that. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be on a PC where we can type into the REPL that goes across the USB connection that goes into the USB, uh, the RP2040 USB adapter that which again gets it into the RP2040. And then that's going whatever comes in on that channel is going to be replicated across UART0, which is really hooked to the HC05 or HC06, which is really going to go across the blue Bluetooth. And then that's going to go onto the other PC. So I should have two terminal windows, weirdly, that I can type into both and run the REPL. Um, so I, my, my super cheap HC05 wouldn't go into command code. And that is because it was not an HC05. It was an HC06. So I was stuck at 9600 baud. And now that's been fixed, but I wanted to leave all this in here for you. And so, you know, what what serial ports do I need to work worry about and what are their speeds? Well, now that I've been able to reconfigure this thing to 11500, basically the bit rate on all these is 11500, right? Before that, I had this slow link in the middle and that was bad and I'll show you why. So changing the data rate and replicating the REPL, basically, if you want to uh, set the baud rate to 9600 because you didn't reconfigure the Bluetooth adapter. This is all you got to do, set up a UART and then dupe the terminal output and input to that UART. <laughs> this is super simple, I was shocked. Um, and that's all that's to it. You could put this in a root or whatever the boot.py uh, is so that it comes up on startup that way. Or you could put it in your main. I, I would consider putting it in the boot if you can get, a, if it'll work because then you can keep pushing new code to main and not lose this uh, terminal thing, right? Uh, now, if you've reconfigured the UART speed, uh, in my case, to 115 kbit, uh, this is actually the code I ran and I'm running right now instead. And then the rep this thing will replicate whatever happens on the console 
across this UART also. And so in that case, I get REPL on both. It's the same REPL, and I'll show you that. Um, and so that's it. And so the part of the reason I just wanted, uh, you know what, let's just uh, demo this first. So let me uh, close this window. And so what I have here, this is the code we're going to run. You know what, let me make that bigger, right? So that's the code we're going to run. We already ran it on there. Machine UART 11, 15, OS dupe term. And then I printed out the UART and it showed me that it is actually uh, running at 115 k bit on that uart right so that's where we're going to shrink that down and then we'll come to the terminal here so i can make i can do dumb things like you know help whoa that didn't work why didn't that work help oh help board weird oh import board All right, so it's not super important to know what the, I did, but basically I typed in, and you could see it happening in both places at once. I did an import OS, and then I did os.uname, and you can see that it's the same Pico board, uh, well, at least the same version of running everything because it's actually echoed out. I thought I could do help. I thought help works. There we go. So help's a pretty long command. It shows you, um, you know, kind of, the syntax for help and gives you some examples. It's actually kind of interesting. I didn't know it was there till the other day. So I can do like help OS, right? And it'll show me all the different parts of the OS functions that are sitting in that package. But the point here is what I've got is I've actually got putty running on COM7, which is the serial communication over Bluetooth. And then I've got R shell running over the USB. And so now if I were to just go, if I put this in the run, those two lines of code in, in the boot, then I can just put that on the other side of the room. I can pair with it and then I can pop into the REPL and 115 K bit, you know, it's pretty good. Like I probably can push code pretty reasonably to that. It's no Wi-Fi, but a lot of times you're just doing small fixes. So it's no big deal. So let me bring back the wiki page we're working on. All right. So again, probably the, the, the main point here, right? So I readjusted this thing to 115 K bit. And if you don't do that and you run at 9600, just want to show it. So this is help and help. This is on the 96. This is on terminal in the virtual serial port that's attached to the Bluetooth device that's on the 9600 k bit, 9600 bit link to the board. And this is on the USB virtual serial. So the help should be this long, all the way down here to control E, help to control E. And here we can see help, quick overview, and then bleh, it died, we overran the buffer and we happened to get control E out here at the end. So everything in here was lost. And that's why you wanna make sure that the bit rate's good. And so you wanna change your default bit rate. And then when you, in my case, I used putty in that in that example, right? I used R shell in, in visual code in one and, and putty in the other. And uh, basically I just set it up on, on the COM port will be called standard seal over Bluetooth link. And I just set it at 115 serial and boom, baby, you are in when you do that. And then you can just take that thing and put it over there and do something with it. And pairings, just like any other device, I would say change the name, change my name, change my name. Anyway, I wanna change the name because uh, all these cheap boards come with the same name and then you get confused and it won't let you pair. I highly recommend setting the name to something that you want. Mine are all now module one, module two, module three, cause I'm super, super creative. Uh, and then the only other thing I was pointing out, which is the same example I did before, which is anybody that if you're connected to the virtual serial port on the USB or the virtual serial port on the um, over the Bluetooth RF com protocol, uh, you know, it's basically a virtual serial port, then the same thing appears on both because MicroPython replicated it because you called dupe term. And that's it. I hope that's useful. Super basic. I think the, probably the biggest thing is just getting an idea how the topology for this work and what the various speeds mean in those cases. Have a great day.